health care, rising costs, some of the things we can do to help bring health care costs back under control. Look at all these schools across our nation. As kids get their education through the day. As soon as school lets out, you know, 3, 3.30 or whatever, they go to practice. They warm up for a half hour or so, and then they start practicing from 4 or 5 on into the evening. And then just about that time, that's when clinics close all across our nation. About 4 or 5 o'clock, they all shut down. High school students and elementary, that's when they're all out doing their sports. And that's when a large percentage of these sprained ankles, you know, fingers, legs, arm, you know, because your sports, football, basketball, track, swimming, all of it, soccer, baseball, you name it, all kinds, many, many different sports. And you got to go to the emergency room because all the clinics are closed. So you have all this school activity across our nation. Okay. And then you have people getting off work. And then you have babies. Babies, they, they, they run a lot of fevers. So you have a lot of babies. You got a lot of fresh new parents there. And you have like animal bites or bee stings. Most of the time, if you need ambulance, and it's life threatening, that's when you call 911. They come and get you and they take you away. So, most of the emergency room visits, you basically go down there yourself. Very rarely do you end up staying in the hospital overnight. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm getting at is that's what cost you 10 times as much because you had to go to the emergency room now to get checked out because all the clinics are basically shut down. But yet, you still have all this activity going on out there the schools, the athletics, the sports. You got all these babies, and you got other things, and seniors, slipped and falls. And what happened is that's adding billions of dollars in health care costs to the taxpayers because emergency rooms don't have affordable health care clinics in-house to take care of all these slips and falls, bee stings, animal bites, so on and so forth. So that's where they're price gouging everybody. All we got to do is simply pass a law that all hospitals across our nation put in affordable health care. That way when you get down there, they triage you. Well, it's not an emergency. You're not dying. You have a heart attack. It's not life-threatening. Then they have a little clinic inside the hospital. There's plenty of nurses and doctors already on duty. That's going to save billions of dollars just right there alone. Or better yet, clinics... They operate 25 to 35% cheaper, okay? And all you got to do is extend the hours. You already got a lot of clinics out there. Put 24-7 or make them stay open until the evenings till all the schools get done with all their sports and stuff. But then you still have babies on through the night. There's a lots, of, lots of things that can be done to help get health care costs down. And the number one suspect, is visits to emergency rooms. So it's time to get the affordable health care clinics inside hospitals. Okay, that's passive. that starts in Congress. But with the corruption in Washington, it's not going to happen. Okay, because they don't care about the people and health care costs. And for the seniors, when they're Part B, their premiums went up past inflation. Okay, they're already on a limited check. And not only that, when it comes to crutches or braces, they'll take a $20 piece of Velcro and a little cheap piece of steel made from China or somewhere, charge you $300. They've cornered the market on those products you need, healthcare products. We've got to bring in more competition, okay? Flood the market with competition. You flood the market with clinics and competition in parts and products or services. That's going to bring our health care prices down. To implement a law, get no affordable clinics inside the hospital, bam, billions of dollars in saved. But it's going to take new leadership, a leadership that's not corrupted and in bed with all the foreign countries and all the crooked corporations. It's going to take somebody that's for the people. That is the way forward. So you want to improve our health care system. It starts by vote me in office. Because the Biden administration is going to do it. Trump ain't going to do it. And DeSantis, DeSantis, the pray menace, he's just like them, where you think he learned it. 
So watch out. Next time you go to the emergency room, you're going to be charged 10 times the amount. Until next time.